everybody welcome back to the channel hope you're having a good day we are painting zombie falcon today with a nice zenithal highlight to start things off and we're gonna be using pretty much all speed paints on this miniature because pretty much what i've been using for all the zombie side or marvel zombies sorry yeah heroes and zombie heroes now i just want to um apologize from the beginning i didn't realize the zoom went in so close to the miniature uh until i started recording the voice over here uh so a lot of parts are a little off here but at some point it comes back to normal and uh yeah so i mean i'm painting bony matter you know on his face and other parts and some parts of the bird here which is kind of weird as well there was a few bones sticking out on one of the wings and uh, by the way i'm assuming it's a falcon and I'm using some mummified grime now on the rest of the falcon just to make them look a little bit more undead like the falcon as well. Don't understand the point of having a falcon with the miniature. I don't know why they added this. Kind of cool that he's standing on like a falcon statue with a broken wall and all that stuff there. So we will be um, uh, fixing that. I put a little bit of nuclear sunrise in the eyes and even if it runs off a bit it's not a big deal because we're going to cover up with another color later. Uh, so sometimes it's better to put your lighter color on first and then if you have a little bit of bleeding as some people have called it uh, you can just cover it up with the, ne the next color that's going to go over that for all the bricks we're doing here we're using some fire drake uh, again I really got to start painting the caps on my speed paints because some of them I assume they're going to do one color and then they do a completely different color and I don't know why I don't remember what they do half the time well I mean you have four head injuries at some point in your life you're going to within the same amount of time you're going to forget stuff right blood red okay yes i'm doing detail painting with a speed paint it's not necessarily always a good thing especially when it's small areas like straps or straps is not so bad but like when it's little details like on his stomach there on his chest um it could bleed into the other parts but again like i said the color that's going to go around it is going to be darker so it's not a big deal uh, I was trying to follow along with the artwork where the red was going. I'm like, okay, so there's some on the inside of his legs, some behind his legs, uh, the gloves, some other spots and things like that. Uh, once again, also, this miniature was painted way before the community poll went up about voting on how I should paint the Marvel Zombie. So this one is going to be a loner again. But when I paint regular Falcon, there will be a link between both videos. I'll try and remember to link this one to the Falcon one and this one to the, you know, you know what I mean. All the back and forth stuff. But it's not always uh, something you remember. Uh, grim Black now for his mask. Uh, it's a little, like I said, a little touchy here again. This would be a part where you would just take some matte black, in my opinion, I think. And uh, cover it up. And um, I also did, uh, I think it was his hair showing with the matte black as well. Uh, now I'm using a little bit of uh, burnished red to do. Now, it looked like at first it was like metal pillars. But I think it's wood now to crash down and stuff. Uh, or broke out from this wall or whatever so I'm just putting on there and the burnish red has this really deep wood red color like a cherry red that's uh, pretty interesting I don't know if it should have been the first choice for this but I mean you know <laughs> ashen stone for well the stone look at that it actually has a purpose in this part and then see him uh, broadsword silver for that uh, falcon statue or hawk or whatever or an eagle or whatever kind of statue he's leaning on there uh, to uh, covered up as well the zenithal headlight comes in really handy again in this one because again you can choose where your light is coming from the most right and whenever you're airbrushing or i don't know if it's the same with spray cans i never really noticed but a lot of times your white zenithal becomes more gray because it's taking up the dark from underneath right and kind of making your white light like a bit grayer so wherever you want to have more brightness let that dry a little bit and come back again with the white and then just hit the spots very carefully where you want more brightness to show and that's what I did sort of on his wings and on his chest and face and a little bit on top of his legs but and the base got whatever spray left was falling from whatever I was doing so it ended up being a little bit darker which is exactly what you want and him being the focus is you want him to be a bit brighter uh, so the Grave Lord Grey now is going over the entirety of the miniature there and now I had some fun with this I mixed in some speed paint medium into the metallics gemstone to create a metallic speed paint of red now it was kind of close it kind of dulled it down a bit so it's not super shiny but it has some shine to it anyways another trick you could have done is actually paint it with a metallic color underneath and then put a red speed paint on it but I didn't want him to be too uh, fancy he is a zombie version so you know having a more dulled down blades on his uh, wings I think was more to the thematic of it all 
So anyways, super quick job. I know some people hate the fact that I say painted in less than 10 minutes, but it's a fact. And here are the paints you're gonna need to get through this miniature. I hope you enjoy folks. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and if you like what you're seeing here. And I wanna thank you again and we'll see you all in the next one.